One time, one time we were awakening, one time we were truth, one time we were divine, one time we were free, one time we were all feeling the divinity within us as the truth of all things, one time we were graced with love in our hearts. So that time is now, because all time is now, right? So all time is this time, all time is this moment, all time is the beauty and the divinity and the peace that rests right here, right now in this moment. So my awakening, my path in this lifetime, my moments to be divine have all come into the now, have all come into this moment because I've been so immersed in the now moment. I've been so energetically awakened in the now moment lately. I can't see anything but because the energy has been really just pushing me into this moment. And I've just been completely to my core, mm, developing myself in this moment and becoming one and becoming divine in this moment. And so I took some time off I took a few weeks to just hmm, develop myself, allow this awakening to occur more deeply, allow the energy and the grace within me to be seen by me more deeply, to be experienced by me more deeply, to be understood by me more deeply. And that took some time for me just to really be alone with myself. There were days over the past few weeks where I, I didn't leave my meditation room actually felt like my whole body was kind of mm, stopping its processes. And so my ex-husband has been so wonderful in this process. We've had our issues over the year and our struggles, and we seem to be caught up in this kind of entangled web that we've had trouble breaking free from. And I think a lot of this clearing has been about seeing the light in that situation, seeing how that can beautifully resolve itself and allow us to become free with each other and loving with each other and really kind with each other. And so he's been so kind and loving during this process. And there were a couple of days where I was really just in my meditation room kind of laying flat out on my back and just letting these processes occur. I was just watching them occur and watching things come up to be released, like many, many past lives, many deaths and tortures, whatever you want to call them, and past lives and relationships and many things in this life. And I went deep, deep, deep into the core, into the essence of many things, many, many things that came up and are still still coming up. If the process is definitely coming to a close because the energy has slowly been easing up each day. But there, you know, still still some things are coming to surface. I don't know how long the process is going to last. I think it was it was a general 40 day process on Friday, which was two days ago. It felt like the 40 days were, came to a close, but I can see that some things are still kind of coming up and dropping off and falling away. But in these two days where I was, or three days, I don't know, there were many days when I was just, I couldn't leave my meditation room. I really couldn't. And my whole body just felt like it was, processes were shutting down. I wasn't eating or drinking. Nothing was happening in the physical realm. I was just going so deep into the essential self of me, right? And you know, talking to God, talking to Baba Muktanan and my guru, talking to the angels, just all the beings that were with me, talking, getting guidance from them through the process. They really just guided me, instructed me through the whole process. Just relax, release, go deeper into it, and let it go. Um, you know, it's only going to be 10 more minutes of this process, it's only going to be an hour more of this process. So I would ask because some of them were so intense, I didn't think I'd be able to get through them. So I'd say, how long, how long is it going to be? And they always told me an accurate time. So I learned to trust that, okay, this is only going to last this much longer. I can go through that. I can withstand this process for this much longer. 
but my ex-husband was so loving and kind throughout this process where he would just come in he would pray for me and he would ask if I need anything and would run out to the store a couple times I asked him to get me some anti-anxiety herbs which did nothing <laughs> but it made me feel better to have them uh, and he, he's just been loving and kind so this has been what I've been going through and I think that it's just a deepening of my own practice, a deepening of my own work, a deepening of my own life, a deepening of who I am, what I am, what I'm doing here. Really coming into that knowing of who are you, you know? Who are you? At the, the deepest core of that question, who are you? And getting the resolution of that uh, knowing what does it really come down to at the core of our being what is it really where do we really rest right when everything is this now moment when everything is here and now in this moment what does it really come down to comes down to us knowing that we are the truth, we are the divinity, we are the peace, and we are the love, right? And the light, the light of all things, the light of consciousness, the light of grace. And coming into the mode of trust, trusting divinity, trusting that we're taken care of, trusting that we're loved, trusting that the process upholds us, takes care of us, lets us be seen, lets us be heard, lets us be known, that I was able to sit in my room during this time when no one's going out anyway. Uh, my ex-husband was home working on this deck that I'm sitting on, so he finished a whole deck for us while I was going through that process. So it was kind of comforting for me hearing the hammer and the screwdriver going as I was going through this process because I knew he was here if I needed him. And I also knew that he was inspired to work in the house. So th something was clearing since inspiration was happening within him. He trusts the process that I'm going through. He trusts the energy that comes through me. He always has, so that's always been a wonderful, huge blessing. And if it comes time for me to go out on the road and do this work and share this work with many people, he wants to be a part of that. He's a sound and production person. So I think we've come to the point now where we could really beautifully work together in that way. And then the children have both of us to be with them all the time. So still opening up to that still receiving that still seeing where that's going to fly but i just wanted to open up to the moment today start re-engaging with the community today start being um with people again uh communicating again i haven't really communicated with anyone for three weeks except my family it's been such an inward journey that it's just not been appropriate for me to even to say hi so if you've sent me a message and I haven't responded, that's why it's just been completely like this going in, going in, going in, going in, going in, going in, going in and feeling right. And now I think the 40 days has ended and it's time to kind of step back in to society, into the world, start kind of getting my feet wet, seeing what that feels like, seeing what that experience is like start creating you know like allowing the energy of creation to come back because it's been so much of the energy of clearing it's allowing that energy of creation to come back into my heart and into my life so i've gotten a lot of nice messages from people on youtube and i just want to say thank you thank you for this community um, thank you for being a part of my the work that i'm doing here let's all share in this grace and this light and this love together if anything this process has taught me compassion, deep love, and deep compassion because the strength it took me to get through what I was going through, uh, I just said, oh my gosh, there are so many people that are experiencing so many things on this earth and the compassion within me was honestly overwhelming, um, wanting to take that on for everyone. So releasing that into the space now of knowing that it's all in God's hands, that everything is perfect, everything is fine, 
everything is free but uh it does awaken a really 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 deep empathy within so now when i do my meditations and i envision things coming to me and you know the finances flowing easily and all of these things i don't just envision it for me i envision it for my family and then i expand out into the whole world so i've been imagining my spine in alignment with the core of the earth and just extending that energy out to everyone and everything on the earth so that we're all supported and we're all loved we're all cared for we're all given what we need we're all brought into the energy of grace together as it's needed for each and every one of us and then we can all care for each other and love each other and be supportive i'm just i'm just so grateful how much I was cared for and given the space to do this work. Because without the situation, without my ex-husband being so kind and loving, I wouldn't have been able to go through it. There's no way I would have been able to go through it the way I did. So I'll be back. I probably will make a few videos this week because I haven't made any for a few weeks. And I'm kind of feeling like I want to start connecting with you again, all of you. So I love you. With all of my being, I'm reconnecting, opening the heart, being in the space of love with everything and everyone. Thank you. Thank you for being. Thank you for listening. Thank you for accepting. We'll be together again soon. Arende ke 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 kam kam kum kum kali kali kara shava kru Arende ke 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 kam kam kum kum ke pa arete Arato to na kaliya shava om ever need.